The Public Utilities Commission has warned that if sufficient rainfall is not received, hydropower can only be generated until the end of February. Dry spell being experienced in the country at present. 85% of the energy requirement is met through thermal power plants. As water levels in reservoirs have dropped to below 38%, hydropower generation has also dropped to 15%, which is significantly lower than the values recorded during the same period last year. In the face of this situation, the Public Utilities Commission has presented several recommendations to the Ceylon Electricity Board to maintain an uninterrupted power supply. Among them is the expeditious construction of the power plants proposed under the CEB's long-term power generation expansion plan. It has also recommended the CEB to enhance the supply of electricity generated by CEB and private power plants as well as to obtain electricity from solar panels set in residences. The Public Utilities Commission also recommends that electricity be obtained from privately owned large power plants and calls on concessions to be provided to those power plants. It calls for the CEB to immediately restore the inoperational generator at the Norochole coal power plant and to add a new generation supply to the system. On the 10th of this month, Cabinet granted approval for six-month extensions to expired agreements of furnace oil power plants. Cabinet also granted approval for the procurement of generators of about 60 megawatts of supplementary power for a six-month period to ensure uninterrupted power supply. On the 28th of December, the CEB called for tenders for the generation and supply of electricity to the CEB on a short-term basis under a power purchase agreement to the aggregate capacity requirement of 60 megawatts. Interested parties must make their proposals prior to the 16th of January. Uh, the government has been presented with proposals to ensure an uninterrupted supply of electricity around the clock despite the weather condition and also without adding another burden to the people. We have called for bids for the generation and supply of 60 megawatts of electricity in a transparent and competitive manner. We hope that under the competitive environment that we have created, we will be able to make the procurement at a much lesser rate. According to the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka, 1,200 megawatts should be added to the national grid by 2020. Under this, it has been proposed to construct a 300 megawatt LNG plant, a 170 megawatt thermal power plant, a 100 megawatt wind power plant, and three hydropower plants in the areas of Broadlands, Moragolla, and Uma Oya. Since 1969, every five years, they speak of a long term generation expansion plan. They speak of this whenever there is a power crisis. However, those plans have never been enforced. There wouldn't have been an energy crisis in the recent past. This is not a sudden disaster. This country faces a massive drought once in every five years. We will have to face droughts that occur in between as well. The responsible authoritative figures want to keep the people in darkness and ensure that electricity is generated and supplied via the private sector. It is only then that their pockets get filled. If we are procuring electricity on the short term, we will have to purchase it for an excessive rate. The burden comes on to the consumers. The Ceylon Electricity Board has failed to be prepared to face the dry spell. The shortcomings of the long-term generation expansion plan and the failure to enforce it is in fact an issue. There is no plan to add larger power plants to the system by 2021 and 2022. The situation in the future will be worse than in 2017. This will continue. Therefore, we need to have a proper plan to face this situation.